my beauties welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today i've put together my monthly favorites video for you guys i have some skincare and makeup products that i absolutely enjoyed using in the month of january in fact it has been uh, over a month since I have been using these products and trust me, I did find some gems out there that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, I have done such a video in the past uh, once or twice and I saw that you guys really enjoyed watching it. So let me know if you'd like me to do a monthly favorites video every month or you'd like me to do it more often than I usually do and I'd be more than happy to film it for you guys. Now, the products that I have here weren't necessarily launched in the month of January. Some of these did launch in January. But a lot of these I landed up using and loving last month. So sit tight. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you've also hit the notification bell. Do also follow me on my Instagram account. And now without further ado, let's dive right into this video. Now, first, let's talk about our favorite things. That's skincare products that I discovered in the past month. There's one particular product that I've been wanting to talk to you uh, about. And this is something that I absolutely fell in love with. It's actually a facial tool. Uh, what I'm talking about is a gua sha from the brand Pure by Priyanka. That's the outer packaging. And uh, this is a pretty good quality gua sha that I have been using and trying out. I've actually done a full video on my IGTV explaining how to use it and uh, what value does it give to your skin. Now, uh, this particular gua sha comes with an authenticity certificate like this, which is what I really like because I know what I'm paying for and I'm getting value for the money that I'm giving. So I really like something like this if it comes with my jade rollers or gua sha's. Now the gua sha that I have here is a natural amethyst gua sha and uh, I will show you the actual product. It looks like this. Clearly it's a very, very sensitive stone. So you've got to be very careful while you're using this. Again, I've explained at a lot more length and breadth as to how you can use it, what are the benefits that it gives to your skin. Really like using it at night. Um, and uh, for a long time I was using a jade roller. Now I switch between the gua sha and the jade roller depending on what my skin needs. Now you guys know that I like using some sort of a facial oil at night and uh, there are different facial oils that I keep trying. The one that I have been trying a lot of in the month of January is this one right here. This is the Pure by Priyanka Swarn Prabha Antioxidant Facial Oil. To go with the gua sha, I really, really like this. This is a very lightweight oil. If you are someone who's looking for a good, lightweight, rejuvenating night oil, this is the one to go for. I love how I can actually use about two, two and a half pumps. It really uh, makes my skin extremely hydrated. Next morning, you wake up with that plump skin. So really liking the product. There are some key ingredients that I want to read out for you guys. This has Kashmiri saffron, pure organic almond oil, which I really like to use, especially in winters for my skin, because uh, in pregnancy, my skin has become a little bit too dry. Although I'm combination skin, but I'm moving towards a little bit dry these days, especially this particular winter. Then this has hemp seed oil, also has argan oil and a couple of other ingredients. Also has turmeric, which is really good for your skin. So before I use my jade roller or my gua sha, I go in with this and uh, really apply it nicely on my neck, also on my face. You can check my IGTV video uh, to know more as to how I use it. But overall, uh, for anyone who is looking for a lightweight facial oil, this is something that I totally, totally loved. And it really stood out for me uh, last month in particular. Moving on to two more skincare products that I have for you. Before I go there, just bear with me guys because I get really breathless. Less. That's because I'm in my third trimester and uh, I really feel extremely breathless while I'm talking. So usually I talk at uh, a length um, continuously, but I find that hard uh, to do as my bump sort of is growing. So if I do get breathless and I take a bit of a breath, then bear with me. So moving on, we have a face wash, which I really liked. Now I have used this in, uh, in pregnancy as well. The only thing is this has fragrance. Um, if you are someone who has sensitive skin condition or acne prone, you might want to stay away, but it's a really good face wash. It really lathers really well. And overall, the ingredient list is pretty much suitable for me to use uh, during this time. Uh, what I'm talking about is the Event Thermal Cleansing Gel, basically, and it comes like this a blue colored gel, it lathers really well. What I like about this is it's not extremely foaming, uh, but it does the job of cleansing your face really well. 
also it's not stripping on the skin so for me uh, i don't like face washes that just strip off the skin make me feel dry and make me want to rush out for a toner this one doesn't do that and uh, that's why i really like and enjoy using this one great quality here then moving on i have a makeup remover that i used to use back in the days a uh, long long time ago but i actually bought this one again this is the oil free eye makeup remover from neutrogena uh, again, something that I find is really handy. It is fairly affordable as well, $4.99. You get uh, 162 ml and uh, I really like using this for removing my eye makeup. Um, also, it's not very greasy on the eye. That's what I like because uh, like the name suggests, it is oil free. Then moving on, I have some eye makeup products. Uh, what I have is the Lacme Iconic Eyeliner. This is the one that I'm wearing. I like how affordable this is and uh, the fact that it's really matte. Uh, I really like matte eyeliners and uh, it really sets in place. And once it's set, it kind of doesn't move. It's fairly water resistant as well. So I really like using this. It also has a very uh, beginner friendly brush tip. So it really gives you a precise wing. If you are someone who likes a good affordable eyeliner, highly recommend this. The only thing with this one is this dries off really quickly. So you have to work with this a little bit more quickly because if it dries out and then you apply another coat on top, it tends to flake. Other than that, I feel for the money that you're paying, you really, really get good quality here. Then moving on, I have eyeshadow sticks from K-Beauty. This is not a new launch, of course. This has been around for a while. Uh, but I only got my hands on this very recently and I feel that there's great quality here. So the thing about this brand K-Beauty is that when it was launched, uh, honestly, I did not have high expectations out of the products because I thought it was yet another celebrity brand. Uh, but really, there are some products that have become my favorites, uh, my all time favorites. Now, two of these that I have here, the first one is High Bond. This is a metallic eyeshadow. And then we have Jaded Glow. Both of these are great, beautiful colors. You can use them as eyeliners. You could also use them as um, your eyeshadow sticks. I've tried both ways. Look really beautiful. And the nice thing about these is once they set, they don't move. So if you want to smudge it out and use it as, um, you know, just smoke out your eye, use it as an eyeshadow, you can, and if you like it to set and become an eyeliner. That is the color uh, that I have here, the beautiful uh, green shades that I have here. Um, I think of many different eye looks that I can create with this, especially this one, the beautiful green that you get, uh, you know, the very different sort of a green is something that I really like this one in specific. Both of these are great quality and loved using these. Then a couple of more products from K-Beauty that have become my absolute favorite. So they launched their blushes um, in the month of January. And uh, I got a couple of the blushes in the PR package. There were two that I totally enjoyed using. And I'm wearing one of them. The one that I'm wearing is Dusty Rose, which is this one. And I really like how sleek the packaging is. You also get a mirror inside. And then I have Sweet Salmon, which is the other favorite. The quality in here, you guys, is great. They really just glide on and they sit on your uh, skin very beautifully. Uh, they are highly pigmented and I really can't fault anything in these blushes. That is the one that is a sweet salmon. Love how beautiful the color is and I really, really appreciate the fact that there are some beautiful different colors for different Indian skin tones. So if you are deeper skin tones, there are some great shades, especially this one. I really want you to see this because it's a beautiful shade. It's going to work on so many different skins. Then uh, the next shade, the one that I'm wearing is Dusty Rose. Really like how soft a pink this is. Again, a color that is so versatile is going to work on many different skin tones. Uh, let me swatch this for you as well. So those are the two shades. One is a little bit more pinker than the other, but both great quality. Now I'm just touching up the shade Dusty Rose and uh, I really like how buttery these are and they really glide on really well on the skin and they sit for a fairly long time as well. I love how beautiful sort of a color this is. It's going to suit so many different skin tones, even this one, which is a sweet salmon. Uh, I think these are priced between six and 700 rupees, but honestly, the quality that you get here are really worth your money. So um, I'll definitely be looking forward to try out some more shades uh, in this blush. 
blush collection. One more blush that I actually landed up loving quite a lot is uh, from The Balm. This is uh, the shade Big Date. Um, I think I have mentioned in one or two of my videos in the description box when I was wearing this. Again, it's a beautiful um, sort of a soft uh, rose kind of a color and uh, definitely something which is going to suit a lot of different skin tones. Again, something that I really like. This has been in the market for a while, but I only landed up trying this last month and really loved. Two more products from K-Beauty, one of these were launched recently, are their lipsticks. So the first one that I have is their Lip Crayon. You won't be surprised because I have this in so many colors. Uh, now this particular color is called Just Friends. Um, I only uh, bought this last month, beautiful shade and uh, it's going to suit again so many different skin tones. If you're on the lighter side of the spectrum, uh, then you really are going to enjoy this color. Uh, the other thing that I really like again from K-Beauty is that are their new lipstick launches. These are um, also their demi matte lipsticks. This one is in the shade Dialogue. Firstly, I want to show you the color. It's so beautiful. It's a gorgeous uh, sort of a chocolate brown color. Perfect nude for deeper skin tones and great quality in here as well. The only thing is this is not super matte, uh, but I don't mind because it doesn't have any sheen. The other thing is uh, it's not something that's extremely long lasting. The crayons are extremely long lasting. This one has a great formula. It's not drying. If you are someone who doesn't like uh, very drying matte lipsticks, this is the one to go for. This one also is not drying for my lips, but I definitely like to hydrate my lips before going in with any sort of a matte lipstick. With this one in particular, you don't have to even apply any sort of a balm underneath. I am gonna show you both the colors at the back of my hand, a gorgeous, beautiful nude shades. Uh, this one is uh, Just Friends, which is the crayon, and this one is Dialogue, which is the lipstick. Both of these shades I feel are so versatile and definitely must have for me. Then I have some more lip products. I absolutely love lip products, especially matte lipsticks and uh, glosses have been a new thing for me, a good lip gloss. I love lip tints, even lip crayons. Uh, so I'm someone who loves uh, a good matte lipstick. And the one that I'm wearing is the e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick. e.l.f. launched uh, last month on Nykaa. And a few of the products I really enjoyed using. Uh, this particular shade is Marvelous. I love how beautiful this color is. Uh, it really sits well on my lips. Again, I've been wearing this for almost about an hour and a half. Uh, I did change my lipstick in between. But it really sits well. It doesn't, um, you know, uh, crack after a while. The only thing is it's a little bit drying on the lips. So if you are someone like me who uh, has chapped lips or dry lips all the time, definitely make sure you're putting a very hydrating lip balm underneath. The color payoff, so beautiful. You can see it on my lips. It sits really well, fairly, fairly long lasting as well. Then I really enjoyed using uh, these are uh, the Lime Crime lipsticks, liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Rustic. I love how gorgeous this color is. I've been wearing this color so much. It's neither a rust, it's not a brown, it's uh, neither a um, nude either. So it's a beautiful pout that it gives you. Really enjoy using this. Again, great quality uh, in here, of course. It's matte and it lasts for a fairly, fairly long time. In fact, this one is gonna last for about six to seven hours without having to retouch this. Then moving on, I have a lip tint from the brand Earth Rhythm. Really, really beautiful. It also comes with an SPF of 30. So if you're looking for a lip balm, which also give you some sort of a color on the lips, these are really nice, uh, good quality as well. Now, this one that I have right here is this beautiful sort of a pinky rose shade. Uh, there are, I think, about six or seven shades and uh, there are one or two of my favorites. I really like uh, on a normal, regular day when you don't feel like wearing a lipstick and you just want to put some mascara and some blush and give your lips a little bit of tint. Also, something that hydrates your lips and gives you a good SPF on your lips. This is something that I reach out for.
Then I have another lip product, which is a lip gloss. I promise this is the last lip product for this video. Is a lip gloss from Lime Crime in the shade Extra Popping. I love how beautiful this one really is. Let me actually apply this on my lips. I was recently wearing another shade of this in one of my videos. This, of course, is a clear gloss. So you can put it on any of your liquid lipsticks. And uh, I like to just dab it on my lips and it gives you a beautiful sort of a glossy lip. I particularly like putting this uh, on my nude lip colors to give that beautiful glossy kind of a pout. Uh, and something that has grown on me recently, I never was someone who liked uh, glosses in the past. But these look really, really beautiful. Also, this has a very subtle fragrance for any of you who don't like fragrances in your lipstick. This uh, you definitely are likely not to mind. Uh, so I'm just going to put this all over my lips. That's how it looks. It's nice and makes your lips look really nice and juicy. One quick tip when you're using a clear gloss, just make sure you wipe it off with a uh, tissue paper to avoid any sort of a color to go back into the tube of the gloss. So I've just wiped it off so that any color that came off the lipstick doesn't stay on here. And now I can pop it back and just twist open. Um, next time I'm going to use it really nice and something that I personally really like. My last monthly favorites has to be the best launch that I actually discovered in the month of January are these nail paints from Nykaa. These are their breathable nail enamels. I specifically like them because they are 14 free enamels and because uh, I'm an expecting mother. It's good that I stay away from other toxics in the nail enamels, especially formaldehyde and uh, toluene, which majorly are in a lot of nail paints. So for me, I've been using these. I do have them in about six, seven colors and love uh, the quality in here as well. I really like the color selection, especially this beautiful baby blue color that I'm wearing today. It's really, really nice. And uh, one coat is more than enough for me. You could go in for two as well and stays on for a fairly uh, decent amount of time as well. I anyway like to reapply my nail paints uh, every second day or just not wear any nail paint at all when I'm not shooting. Um, then I also have a couple of different colors here. There is bare skin, which I wear a lot because I like nude um, nail paints quite a lot. And then I have Keep Calm, a beautiful violet shade. I also have a beautiful, stunning uh, sort of uh, nude, which is more towards mauve, is a piece out. So all of these shades I totally love and I really like the quality in here as well. So guys, with that, it's a wrap. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this monthly favorites video. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. And until I see you next, guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.